and Kate. And today we're going to take you through a powerful flow. So let's get started in Child's Pose. Bring your knees wide, big toes to touch, and just melt down into your mat. Send your hips back over your heels. And as your body melts, allow your thoughts to melt away. Anything you brought with you to the mat, let it go. Focus on your breath, long, deep inhales and long, deep exhales. Come forward, press into your hands and come to downward facing dog by tucking your toes under. This down dog can be stable, steady, or you can move your legs, bend your legs one at a time, walk your dog, whatever feels good to you. Setting your gaze at one spot at the back of your mat or a little higher on the back wall. Find a little bend in your elbows, a little bend in your knees. And again, focus on your inhales and your exhales. When your thoughts go somewhere else, bring them back to your breath. Steady your drishti. Take little steps to the top of your mat. Take your feet hips distance apart, take a halfway lift and fold into ragdoll. Become aware of your feet pressing deeply into your mat. Allow your head to drop. Knees can be generously bent. Big breath in, another big breath out. Let's do that again. Inhale, exhale, release your hands, press into your feet, take an inhale to rise. Nice and slowly, all the way up, reach to the sky. Fingers spread open and wide, heart lifted, hands to heart center, Inhale, exhale, reach down, reach up, bow all the air out, big breath in as you halfway lift to flat spine and come to a high plank. Shift your weight front to back, press into every toe, pull your belly button up into your spine. Come forward, elbows graze your body as you come to low plank. Upward facing dog, press into the tops of your feet. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Step or fly to the top of your mat. Another halfway lift, fill up, fold, breathe out, root down to rise up, breath in, and hands through center, all the air out. Halfway lift, flat spine, high plank to low, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Right leg to the sky, step it through to a warrior one. Press down into your feet. Send your right thigh as low as it wants to go. Reach up. Really get 
rounded here. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, hands to your mat. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Left leg to the sky, step it through. Warrior one. Really press into the back edge of your right foot. Allow your hips to drop. Inhale, reach up, go back a little bit. Hands to your mat, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out, feet to hands, half lift, graze your hands along the floor, Utkatasana, stay low. Squeeze your thighs together, look down, make sure you can see your toes, send your heels down and back. Focus on breath. Reach up. Bow, breathe out. Half lift, breathe in. Take your vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. One breath this time. Exhale, flow. Up dog, down dog. Left side, warrior one. Up and back. Hands to your mat, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Feet to hands, half lift, fold. Utkatasana, one breath. Bow. Half lift. Chaturanga or downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. One more sun B, hands to your mat. You flow. Up dog. Down dog. Left side, warrior one. And you flow. Up dog. Down dog. Breath in, breath out. Right leg to the sky. Step it through to a crescent lunge. Back toes going straight ahead. You're on a train track so that you have stability. So your legs aren't on a tightrope. Your left leg is a bit out to the side, bringing you onto a bit of a, we call it a train track. Bring your hands to heart center. Shift your weight forward. Left elbow over right thigh. Crescent twist. With every inhale, find length. With every exhale, twist a little bit more open, lifting your heart up towards your hand. back to crescent lunge and open up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Your left arm can be straight up, or you can reach to the front of the room for a long line of energy between your back foot and your left fingertips. Open your heart to the side wall.
So you're really grounding down through your feet, hugging into your core, and then finding a little bit of lift with your upper body. Warrior two, inhale, reverse, exhale, flow. Up dog, down dog. Left leg to the sky, same thing, crescent lunge. Keep those feet placed widely. Sit down into it. Find your gaze, set it softly. Lift your back leg. Bring your hands to heart center. Shift your weight forward and twist to the left. That's it, left. <laughs> it's about your breath, your energy hugging into the center of your body, your heart lifting. Center to warrior two. Really extend your right arm back, your left arm forward. Draw your shoulder blades together. Sit a little deeper. Inhale, reverse, exhale, side angle. You can leave your left elbow on your thigh really lightly, or you can bring your left fingertip down to grace the floor. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, flow. Up dog, down dog. Big breath in, open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> Feet to hands, half lift, fold, Utkatasana, hands to heart center. Big breath in, twist right as you breathe out. Really squeeze your legs together. Make sure your left hip pulls straight back. Come back to center. Twist to the left. Again, don't let your right foot pop out. Let your right leg squeeze into your left leg. Press your right hip back like you're sitting in a little chair. Hips lower than your heart. And fold. Take whichever one you want. Padabhustasana, Yogi Tolak, or Padahastasana. Hands underneath your feet. Let your head drop. Let your thoughts drop. Focus on your breath, on being here right now, physically here, mentally here. Good, release your hands, rise all the way up, eagle on the right, right leg over, right arm under. Squeeze your thighs together. Lift your core, hug everything into the center line of your body energetically, and then send your elbows forward as you draw your shoulder blades together down and back. Open up into airplane, sending your right leg back <laughs> with your toes pressing straight down. 
It's a little turbulence with my airplane this morning. There you go. Find your stability with your breath, with your drishti. Bring your hands to heart center and then come into half moon by bringing your fingertips down in front of you and lifting your right leg up and back, pressing your back foot towards the back wall, peeling your right hip open, lifting your heart and maybe your drishti to the sky. Keep a bend in your left leg, press into your left foot and your right foot evenly and full. Let everything go. And as you inhale, reach up and take that to the other side, eagle. Left leg over, left arm under. Square your hips. Bring your hands to heart center and come into half moon right fingertips down. Breath by breath, you open up. And hold. Rise. Take tree. Place your right foot anywhere along your left leg except your knee. Press your left leg back into your right foot. Give yourself that same pressure with your right foot so that everything's really hugging in again. Express your branches. Feel yourself rooted down through your left foot so that you can reach your branches high. Again, hugging all the energy, the center line of your body to, to express your branches open and out. Good, change sides. And release. Reach up. Breathe in. Fold. Breathe out. Halfway lift. Big breath in. Vinyasa breath out. Up dog. Down dog. Shift forward into high plank. Low plank. High plank. Downward facing dog. High. Low. High. Down dog. How many, Kate? High? Ten. Ooh, this is number three. <laughs> <laughs> we said powerful flow. And four. Keep your form. You want to count, Kate, in your mind? If your, form, <laughs> if your form goes and you find yourself not really feeling powerful here, bring your knees down to your mat. You can do the same thing with your knees down. So it would be like this, and then your down dog would just be a slide back like this and a slide back and then I think you'll be able to how many more I think we have one more we have one more that wasn't so bad down the facing dog <sighs> we come out to a high plank again lower down all the way to a locus, so your hands are behind you, forehead is on your mat, flip your palms to face the ground, and then lift everything up except 
your belly button, your hip bones, get really long, draw your shoulder blades together, with inhales you lift, exhales you stay, keep your head forward and looking down, so you're nice and long, crown of your head to your toes, and release. Reach around and grab your ankles for both. And again, you lift. Imagine that you could stamp your feet on the ceiling. Thighs can press down into your mat to lift your heart more and more open. And release. Windshield wiper your legs side to side. Let that go. Come back to center. Take a nice upward facing dog, nice and strong. Downward facing dog. Look to your hands, step or fly through your hands. Come onto your back. Set up for bridge. Press down. To lift up. You can clasp your hands underneath you. Open up your collarbones. You always want to keep your dristy nice and straight here. Neck, neck in one line, basically. You don't want to look around. Okay, come on down. And one more, just like that, or if you're ready for it, take wheel by bringing your hands back behind you. Press down, hug in, use your strength of your legs, and rise up. Pressing down into your hands and your feet, drawing your inner thighs towards each other to lift your hips, allowing your head to drop, your heart to open and come down. Sukta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet draw together. Really nice place to check in. Notice how strong you're feeling. Notice how powerful your breath is flowing how your heart is beating, how alive you are. You created all that. You roll out your mat. You're still in it. Stay with us. Take happy baby by reaching your hands through your legs onto the outside edges of your feet. Draw your knees down towards your armpits. And you can find stillness here, or you can sway side to side. You can lengthen one leg and then the other. Really let your low back release into your mat. And since it's there releasing into your mat, go ahead and keep it pressing into your low back. Your low back into your mat as you take eagle legs on the right, eagle arms on the left, With an inhale, extend long. With an exhale, draw your knees and your elbows together, pressing your low back into your mat, keeping your feet flexed, and just keep that action going as you press your belly button down into the mat, using your energy from your core to create this movement. Exhale as you come in. Inhales, you get long. Two more. In, extend, draw together, extend. Simply change your legs and your arms, and we do it again. Exhale, inhale, get long, and use your energy from your core pressing down into your mat. Let this come from your core. 
You're looking up. Your neck really isn't doing any work at all. Flex your feet. And release. Take a nice long body stretch out on your mat. Come into a figure four by placing your left foot on your mat, bring your right ankle up above your uh, left knee. Mm -hmm. Reach through to grab either your hamstring or the top of your left shin, and then lie back, allowing your right elbow to keep gently opening your right hip out to the side wall. There you go. Ooh, feel that release in your right hip. See how much you can relax your body, your mind. Again, keeping your focus on your breath, letting everything else be somewhere else in the universe until you're ready to come back to all those thoughts. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll be gone. Change sides. Lengthen your legs out in front of you. Just allow yourself to come to the side and roll up to a seated forward fold. Flex your toes back toward your face. Fold down your legs, sending your hips back. Knees can be bent here. With some allowing the gravity of release. With gravity and with breath, you'll find your body starts to surrender. And then come on up, and since we've promised a powerful flow, let's take reverse tabletop. Bring your hands behind you, fingertips facing the front of the room. A little bit of bend in your elbows. Create a tabletop with your body by pressing your hips to the sky. Press down into your hands. Press down into your feet to really ground yourself. Let your head go back. Send your hips up nice and high. And then all the way down onto your mat. Take an inversion. Either take shoulder stand or legs up the wall. Allowing the blood to flow the other direction. If you're in shoulder stand, you can allow your legs to fall back into plow. If your feet touch the floor, you can reach around, grab your ankles. They don't have to touch the floor. You never want to force anything. Now go ahead and bring your knees, if you're in that pose in plow, bring your knees to your forehead for just a breath or two. And then let's slowly roll out onto our mats. Extend your legs long in front of you. Hug your right knee into your chest. Take it across your body into a supine twist. Keep your right shoulder blade plugged into your mat. You can close your eyes or you can let your dristy go towards your right hand. Back to center. Extend your right leg, hug your left knee in, 
Same thing, this time twisting to the right. Come back to center, take a big, long overhead stretch. <coughs> and release into Shavasana, letting everything go. Close your eyes. Drop your intentional breath. If you can, stay here for five or ten minutes. If you need to get going, just roll to the right side. Press yourself up to a seat. Take a seat at the front of your mat. Eyes closed. Body tall. Notice how good you feel. Bring your hands to heart center, thumbs to forehead center. We bow to each other as we say namaste. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time.